Thank you so much for all the love and support you have shown me. It truly means the world to me. It'll surprise you to know that Perry's final Instagram post, which he shared just five days before he died, was a picture of him in a jacuzzi with the caption, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good? I'm Matt Man. But that's not all. The week following that, he posted pictures with Batman's bat signal all over his Instagram and called himself Matman. It was a name he referred to himself as to remind himself of how well he's doing when he was feeling down or felt the urge to do drugs according to his memoir. It now makes sense. It was a cry for help and we were all too late to figure it out. Today is the day my memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing is finally out in the world. Thank you so much for all the love and support you have shown me and this book already. It truly means the world to me. Perry rose to fame as Chandler Bing on Friends, which aired from 1994 to 2004. Just a year back in 2022, he released his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, where he openly talked about his decades-long struggles with substance abuse. Reflecting on his struggles to get sober, he admitted that despite earning huge popularity for Friends, he couldn't bring himself to watch the hit sitcom because it reminded him of the tough times he went through due to his addiction problem. He later revealed that he was only sober for one complete season of the beloved sitcom and said that his physical appearance was usually a gauge for his sobriety. You can track the trajectory of my addiction if you gauge my weight from season to season. When I'm carrying weight, it's alcohol. When I'm skinny, it's pills. He wrote in his book, adding, when I have a goatee, it's lots of pills. Matthew's addiction began following a jet ski accident in 1997, which led him to develop a dependency on Vicodin. 55 Vicodin a day, which is where I was. 55? Yeah. How did you get 55 a day? So I did all sorts of things. I had a bunch of doctors, fake migraines and all that stuff. This initial reliance on painkillers eventually spiraled into alcohol abuse. I, I'm, a, I'm a drug addict. I'm a person that if I have a drink, I can't stop. You, you actually had, uh, you, you were in treatment for something, some yeah. uh, substance abuse? Yeah. Well, it's actually happened during, during this movie. Um, while we're shooting this movie, you know, it's been pretty well documented that I had some, I had some problems with alcoholism and, and addiction. And before this movie was over, I, I left the film to go get help, you know. Reaching a point where he frequently showed up to work in a hungover state. I made a rule that I would never drink or take anything at work. So I would never do that, but I would show up blindly hungover, like shaking and crazy hungover. By 2000, his alcohol abuse had escalated to the extent that he was hospitalized with pancreatitis. Matthew Perry was found dead on Saturday in a hot tub at his Los Angeles home. Reports mentioned that his assistant contacted 911 and authorities responded about 4 p.m. to his home. Police report that there were no signs of foul play, but recent reports have uncovered prescription pills at his home. Though Perry's career never took off beyond friends, he was arguably the standout performer in a talented cast of six. Looks like the man who made millions made everyone laugh with his one-liners was a lonely man fighting too many demons in his life.